It actually goes by a couple names. There's pseudotumor cerebri, which is the more common name in, in the public's eye. And then there's intracranial uh, hypertension. Uh, it's a syndrome involving the cerebral spinal fluid, which is a fluid that bathes the brain. Uh, it helps cushion the brain, provide nutrients, and things like that. It has an, a pressure that it exerts inside the, the skull. And in patients with this condition, that pressure is actually elevated. The thoughts are is that there's an imbalance between the production and reabsorption of the spinal fluid, which then results in increased pressure and all of the symptoms that we see with that. We see all age range of patients from the very young to through adolescence. Chloe was 14 years old when she was referred to us uh, by her eye doctor who had noted the swelling in her eyes. I went to my eye doctor for my like yearly checkup and they asked to take a picture of the back of my eye and they looked at my optic nerves and saw that they were swollen. She did not have any symptoms at the time. We performed the lumbar puncture which noted the increased uh, intracranial pressure and thus completing the diagnosis. My eye doctor at Children's said that if we would leave it untreated that I could go blind. Most of our patients were able to get away with medical management. We have medications that decrease the spinal fluid that you produce to help bring you back in that balance. I take two pills in the morning and two pills at night before I go to bed every day. Once the symptoms resolve, then we will wean her off the medication and typically we follow patients for about two years. I think we were very fortunate to catch it as early as we did. She may be one of those fortunate few that do not ever have symptoms other than just the swelling in the eye or maybe simply that we just caught it early enough that she hadn't had time to develop those symptoms yet. We can actually do surgery on the optic nerve to relieve the pressure on that uh, through, through cutting, essentially cutting holes in the covering of that optic nerve to relieve the pressure. Some patients also too can benefit from diversion of their spinal fluid, so shunting, similar to how we do in hydrocephalus that our colleagues in, the, in neurosurgery perform. And then some patients, when weight is also a factor, we refer them to um, our Healthy Weight Nutrition Clinic. You see the ophthalmologist first. They, they go through the full exam. They get a really good look uh, in, the, in the back of the eyes at the nerve, which is the thing that we're most interested in. Then after that, they come and see us in neurology, uh, where we put that piece of the puzzle together with how they're doing clinically in terms of symptoms, headaches, and things like that. Um, and we come up with a treatment plan. And then also, too, we have a psychologist that works with us in clinic. One of the reasons we chose to go to Children's was because all the doctors were there together. It's all on the same day, so they don't need to miss multiple days of school or come back multiple times to clinic.